Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. Filling in for our Prophet Renee, and I have to my left Minister Keith Doggett. Hey, Amen. Thank Minister you for tuning in to Life in the Word. Happy Wednesday. We thank you for joining us on this morning. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be continue yes. Uh, yes. picking up in chapter uh, three in, uh, in John. Yes. Amen. We've been talking yes. about uh, condemn and uh, not aware. You know, not aware. Uh, but we've been having a good time. We're going to pick up um, in verse six. In uh, chapter 3, uh, it says that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. And we see that Jesus told uh, Nicodemus, how do uh, we enter the kingdom of God? Jesus told him to, we must be born again. Right. Amen. We must be renewed, spiritually transformed from right. above yes. to enter the kingdom of God. Yes. And verse 8, he said, the wind bloweth where it listeth. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot canest not tell when it cometh, and whither it goeth, so is every one that is born of the Spirit. Amen. And, and this change is a miraculous change. It's a change that happens spiritually, it's a change that happens um, uh, according to the will of God. Yes. You know, men don't have the power to hold this change or this transformation. It is only given by God that he, he can send his spirit to transform you. Right. His spirit can do whatever it wants to do. It doesn't need a direction from man. It doesn't need um, a, a signing off, a men's uh, verbal approval to, to go somewhere and enter into the uh, heart of, mm -hmm. of God's people. No, this is something that comes miraculously and that, that's why the Holy Spirit is so is a powerful spirit because it can literally change your life instantaneously. Yes. It can come into your life instantaneously and renew you and change you. This is why somebody can stop, you know, um, you know, put down the drugs one day and pick up Christ the next day. This is why somebody can stop living a life of sin and begin to live a life in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus the next day because it, can, it has the power to transform. It has the yes. power to renew. Yes. And the Spirit comes when it wants. It lists to where it goes. So it's not limited to just a, a region. It's not limited to just a community. It's not limited just in a, in a, in a, in a particular nation or country. No. Yes. It, it goes where it wants to go and it gives us the insight of the power of the Holy Spirit and how it can really come into your life and really change you and it, it gives you that birth and the Holy Spirit is your seal of redemption it is the seal of redemption when you are filled with the Holy Ghost you're not just filled with just the, the, the name of the, the Holy Spirit no it's a power that's in you that causes you to remain transformed to remain transformed because it's not just a one day of transformation yes. that we're living. It's an everyday transformation that we're living in Christ. So it's not just, oh yeah, we save today. And then the next following day, we go right back. No, there are there times where we can, you know, go back and we may have some failures or some mistakes, of course. But the power of the Holy Spirit can transform you and get you back to the place that you need to be. And don't think transformation takes place again, like I said, in one day. It's a continual process. It's a continual process, and it begins to change your life. Nicodemus said in verse 9, uh, and answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? So Jesus begins to test Nicodemus and said, How can you not know? Aren't, aren't you the teacher? Aren't you knowledgeable? <laughs> aren't, you knowledgeable? Aren't you the aren't you the one that everyone goes to in Israel to get to, to, to know the scripture? Right? right? So we even see in Nicodemus' life that he's being humble to a degree. He's being humble into what he learned. He his accolades, his prestige, his recognition by the by Israel no is not playing a part in this conversation. Right, right, right. See, no matter how much people tell you how great you are, we always have to be humble. We always have to be humble. We always have to be in a passion and humility. Because sometimes you, you show yourself to know too much when you really know nothing. God knows all. God knows all. He reveals all. Come on. But I want you to say something. Just keep what you're getting. But when, I, when I'm looking at um, when Nicodemus is not understanding that, it's the natural into the supernatural. Yeah. That's what's taking place. Yes. The natural to the supernatural. Because Jesus is trying to show him something in the spirit. Amen. 
what he, whatever he was taught, whatever he was used to, Jesus yeah. coming to confuse that. Right. To show him another way. And that through the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit moves however he wanna move. Yes. The Holy Spirit will transform the transform you just like that. Right. But see, what I'm looking at when I'm looking at nigga demons, he wanna be transformed. Right. Because he keep he, he's quiet. He's not even talking about what he know. Right. Because he realized that Jesus done took over and now he's learning something that he never never learned before. Right. This is something new. This is revelation now from from above. So he wants this. Right, yes. And he's understanding to the point that the Holy Spirit is moving on him. Right. The Holy Spirit is touching. The Holy Spirit is convicting him to the point that he wants this. Mm -hmm. He's forgetting about what he, he ain't talking about nothing about what he, what he know. Mm -hmm. You both be the man that's, that's knowledgeable, that know people come to you now, but now you see Jesus is taking to another level. Yes. Another dimension, higher heights and deeper depths. Yeah. He take them to a place that you've never been before. Right. So that's what we were saying before about the hunger and the thirst. Mm. That hunger and thirst, he's like, he just anxious. He want to know more and more and yeah. more and more. I, I, I want this. I want to be, I, I forget about my mother. Mm. I, I want to be born again in the spirit of the water. I yes. want this. Yes. And as Jesus keep talking to him, keep talking to him, it's like, he's like, like you said, humble. Right. Because sometimes we think we know something, we don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. It's the Holy Spirit, the, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit search all things and the deeper things of God. Yeah. So he's learning the deeper things. Yes. And the deeper things that he's learning, he's getting hungry and hungry. Right. And you know he God is, and like it's a process. The process. God is processing. Yeah. The way he's processing him. Yeah. And it's like he said, yo, I want this. I want just it's just like us, like me coming to the church and I'm, I'm not saved. And I hear the word of God. And the word of God, it it, it, it does something to me. Whatever, whatever's in me, like who I used to be, it's like I don't want to be like that no more. Yeah. So I'm looking at nigga. He don't want to be like that no more. He want he want to be transformed. He want to be renewed. He want this. Be, he want to be born again mm -hmm. yes. of the spirit of the water. Yes. And this this is this is good. Yeah. This is his time. This is good. You know. And he ended up believing in Jesus at the end. You know. He was actually one of the uh, people that prepared his body uh, after the crucifixion. So there was a there was some kind of relationship between him and Jesus, but. Uh, you know, the Bible clearly says that the natural man does not understand the spiritual things. You know, there's some conversation you can have. Yes. Just like Jesus is conversating with Nicodemus. Right. You talk to someone that's not enlightened and not, you know, been watered by the word of God, transformed, renewed. There's going to be a gap of understanding. But there, there's a part where now you have to be willing to, to learn more of Jesus. It's not about, see, we, we want to learn according to being great. See, Nicodemus is not learning mm -hmm. of Jesus to be great and to boast of the knowledge of himself. Because right. a, lot, a lot of times we get the knowledge because we want to boast of what we know. Right. And that's what the Pharisees did. That's what the Sadducees did. They were very, they were legalists. They knew the word of God. They knew the scriptures, but their heart wasn't transformed. Right. They weren't born again. They knew of the kingdom of, that was coming. It was talked about in the Old Testament right. that Jesus, the Messiah would come and establish a kingdom on earth. Right. But they, they 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 were not spiritually reborn right. and renewed, which Nicodemus was the only one out of all of them to come to Jesus to get more of this right. revelation. So he wasn't coming to, to, to come and be great. He was coming to be humble. He was coming to say, there was somebody greater than I. Mm -hmm. Come on, there was somebody that that's I good. must that's go good. to to learn of this kid if I want mm -hmm. to be born again. Wow. Right? Wow. So we see, that's why Jesus said, Mark or not. He said, did you not know these things? You in the scripture, do you not all know? The scripture, all the time. Yeah, you in the scripture, but do you not know? You got no revelation. No but no scripture. revelation of the scripture. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Because what was happening with Nicodemus, the in his everything he learned was being paused in this moment. Yes. Everything that he he thought he knew was being paused in this moment. Yes, sir. Right? So we see here that Marvel not. You know, we have to take the approach of Nicodemus and humble ourselves yes. and hear God for real. Yes. And, and, and when we hear, move on. Yes. You know, live it by faith. Yes. And you'll see yes. that God will do great things yes. in our lives and everyone that's watching God. This is your moment, you know, to be humble and hear the message, to hear the word of God. To, 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 when you hear the message, to, to receive it and move on it as such. And you, and you know what I'm looking at? God is just a pride and it's also the home. 
Yes. So God, so the more that he humbled himself, the more Jesus keep talking to him. So yeah, no. Yes. Because he's humble. You said right? it's about humility. You gotta yes. humble yourself. Yes. You're never gonna know nothing. And it's not like to know something to be great. Yes. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. No, it's not about that. Yes. It's about the Holy Spirit in, in you. In you. That give the revelation yes. and reveal things to you. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit knows the Spirit. Yes. Yes. A natural man gonna never know things about the Spirit. No. Unless he have the Holy Spirit. No. And the Holy Spirit is the one that discerns. Right. Yes. Right. Right. The download. Yes. The download. And you know what? You can't receive if your heart is full. Because we can't get a download, we can't get an impartation of the Holy Spirit if we don't come empty and ready to receive it. So there's a measure of the Holy Spirit that you can't even maximize in your life because you hinder it and you suffocate it by your own knowledge. So you say, Holy Spirit, give me more. But you tell the Holy Spirit, you, are, you, you, you know it all. So why does the Holy Spirit need to come and give us more revelation of God? And give us empowerment and give us miracles and give us breakthrough when you already fill yourself with yourself. Mm. Mm. But you know, I'm going to block this, up, up this book out of here. It said, you got to give the Holy Spirit space. Yes. Mm. So he can it's fill room. He can fill it it's room. up. So he can fill you yes. up. He, he, his hand filled. Right. Not you. Not you. Mm -hmm. It's not you. It's never you. And Nicodemus is emptying himself. Mm -hmm. and, and, and yes. Right in front of Jesus, yes, emptying bro. himself. Mm -hmm. And say, I know nothing. Ooh. I come vulnerable. I come. I come humble. Mm. I'm coming by night, but I'm humble because I see. I don't know what to do when I've been in religion for so long. Right. When I've been around, you see, because the thing about he's hanging out with his buddies all day long, mm. other prestigious um, men that's in the Sanhedrin. So, so guess what? He can't be caught seen with Jesus. So why does he come by night? Because I have to somehow have to get access to the one that has great revelation, mm. that that's greater than I. Because sometimes we think that we're too great to ever receive from Jesus and ask of Jesus anymore. That's why. We, so, you, the greatest thing I've learned for myself is to, to don't talk much. Yes, bro. And, and, and part of us, we love to talk. But you're not going to get power by talking all the time. You have to have a meek and humble spirit to hear God. And remove pride from yourself because that's that's pride removing from you. Mm. It's saying that I don't always need to talk, God, but I may just need to come in your presence and just say I'm empty. Fill me, fill me, Holy Spirit. Give me greater revelation. Give me more knowledge of you. Yes. Because Paul desires to come into the excellency of Jesus Christ to know more of who Jesus yes. is. He says, "Not I that live, but Christ that liveth in me." How can Christ live when you're busy trying to live? Every day is coming and saying, fill me, Lord. Give me more of you. That's why I said, it's not I that live. Not I. But Christ. But Christ. It's not you. We got to stay crucified. We got to stay dead. Yes. So Christ can live. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. Let's be humble. Yes. Amen. We pray the word bless you. And, and this is blessing you all week. If you've been tuning in, continue to tune in. We're going to get even further and further in John chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. My name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And that's my left. Minister Keith Doggett. Praise the Lord. Please remember that Jesus is Lord. God.